there. My name is Kenzie and I'll be offering you a restorative yoga practice today. So we will be practicing relaxing deeply in a few different supported shapes. As you can see, we do have a few props. I've got two thick bed pillows. These could be couch cushions. They could be whatever you've got. Um, and then two folded blankets. Again, whatever blankets are available for you. And then I also have a sturdy kitchen chair. Um, so yeah, you might have to press pause and see if you can gather one of those. Uh, yeah, it could be really any chair that's got some sturdy legs and, uh, and a soft seat, or even a not so soft seat. Uh, so we are gonna begin um, by finding a comfortable way of being. And we're gonna use this chair and actually prop our legs up on the chair. But you can always skip that part. Um, I think I might like to have a blanket here to kind of rest my heels on. And then I'm gonna have a blanket off to the side for warmth. The air conditioning is on in here even though it's a hot sunny day outside. So I'm a bit chilly. I'm gonna use one pillow under my head and just see what else I might need. If you have fairly short legs, even having a pillow or cushion underneath your buttocks could be helpful. So let me show you how you might wanna get into this pose. Um, so you might be kind of bringing your legs to the front um, of the chair and kind of coming onto your side and get your head on the pillow. And then as you roll onto your back, you could place your legs up on the chair. So as you mentioned, my heels are kind of floating in the air, but if I've got the blanket there, it gives me just that little sense of support. I think it's different for everyone. And depending on how comfortable this pillow is, you might need another one or maybe no pillow at all. And then there's that opportunity for a little extra warmth over your body. Yeah. And so continue to make yourself comfortable Perhaps close your eyes. And continue to make any adjustments so that you could even be 1% more comfortable. Any adjustments at all. Notice if you both sides of the body feel balanced. You know, if you want to bring the arms out to the sides or maybe rest the hands to the belly. And now let's notice all of the support beneath us. So you might notice the soft support at the back of your head. And imagine just letting your head get a little bit heavier. Resting fully on that pillow. And then notice where your arms and hands feel supported. Imagining your arms and hands getting a little heavier, resting a little more fully. And notice your back pressed against the floor. Imagine your whole torso a little bit heavier, resting a little more fully. If your legs are on that chair, you'll probably notice where the calves touch down, maybe where the feet or heels do. And again, letting your legs feel heavy, fully supported.
And now let's begin to follow the breath. The whole body is supported and quiet. And the only movement is the rise and fall of your abdomen. Your own natural breath. And simply follow the inhale. Notice as it turns to exhale, follow the exhale. And as it turns back to inhale, let's keep following. We're not controlling the breath, we're simply following along. Let's simply follow along with the next five or six breaths. Feeling the abdomen rise and fall. Following the movement. Exhale. Exhale to inhale. So here we are now. If it suits you, perhaps bring a hand to rest on the belly and a hand to rest on the chest. Feeling the weight and the warmth of your own giving hand. And perhaps offer yourself some sweetness here, a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. those hands, perhaps giving your toes or your fingers a little wiggle, a little turn of the wrists or ankles. Or maybe there's a yawn or a stretch. And please know you can stay in any of these poses for as long as you're comfortable. You might walk your feet to the edges of the chair and you might hug those knees to the belly for a moment. Maybe there's a rock from side to side. You might even roll yourself all the way over so we can make our way upright. Yeah. So we'll move our props out of the way, though the, uh, the chair can stay there for now. We're going to use it in a moment. So we'll just move to the other end of our mat. We can lean into the hands a bit. 
and bring your knees bent, the feet to the edges of the mat, and we'll rock the knees a few times. You're always welcome to skip the little bit of movement between poses. I just like to do it to prepare the body a bit for the next pose. Yeah. And this one can feel just nice for the hips. And a couple more, either direction. Great. So once the knees are upright, you shake out the hands a little bit. And maybe one more little bit of movement. You could be on fists, you could be on fingertips um, or palms. You could even have the fingers turned out. I guess the palms turned out a little bit here. And the feet are about hip distance apart. I'm going to notice how it feels to just lift the heart a little bit, push into the hands. And then dropping the chin down towards the chest and kind of rounding forward a bit. And this is a bit like cat-cow, so you could be on hands and knees rounding and arching the spine here. I'm just gonna do a little bit of that in this position. Dropping chin to the chest, rounding, and kind of lifting through the heart. Let the belly tip forward, the pelvis tip forward. And let's do this a couple more times in either direction. I know this is a strong one for the hands. Maybe here for only a short time more. Great. Okay, again, you could shake out the hands. So the next pose, we are gonna be resting our forehead or forearms to the mat. We're gonna be taking our feet wide or together. So we'll need both pillows and maybe we'll be using the blankets for support. Um, so this is what I suggest. There's two options, and you may have done this one with me before, and if so, you might know exactly where you want to go with it. So depending on the type of chair you have and um, how you're feeling through the inner thighs, you could take your feet to either side of the chair, or you could bring your legs inside the chair. Because in restorative, we like to look for a place of openness before stretch, for some folks, having the legs to either side of the chair is going to be too stretchy. So if that's you, you could bring the legs inside. Also, because this would be quite a strong hamstring stretch, it's always nice to bring a pillow under your knee. So if your legs are inside that chair, you could still place a pillow there, yeah? If the legs are wide, Again, that would be a strong stretch for the legs, so we could bring pillows underneath the knees here. And final piece, um, it, for a lot of us, it's going to be more comfortable to actually sit on a folded blanket. And I know it's gonna be a bit awkward to get your hips, so move any way you need to. Get that little soft support under your hips to help elevate you. So depending whether you have the legs inside or out, you can bring the pillows under the knees. And then we've got this chair. So we need to build the chair up to support our forehead. So it might be as simple as crossing your forearms and resting your forehead here. The idea is that we're sitting kind of upright on our pelvis and sitting bones. We're not rounding back. We're kind of lifting up and rounding forward. So again, if you find that you need to move that chair further apart or build up that seat of support. Um, so again, just notice if you can find a place here where you can rest the forehead. There's lots of space for the face for breathing and keep adjusting those legs. If you find as you lean forward that it's gotten way stretchier, we want to come back to that place of openness before stretch. Ah, so continue to settle into your pose, feeling nice and supported. Okay, we're 
rocking forward on those sitting bones, shifting the hips. You do feel like kind of lifting up out of the pelvis and then rounding forward. And closing your eyes here might help you get in tune with that level of comfort, continuing to make adjustments to increase your comfort. And once more, we'll begin to explore that sensation of support. We could start with the forehead, just feeling the forehead supported. And choosing to let your head get a little heavier, fully supported. Getting nice and quiet. And the face relaxed, the jaw soft. And we're bringing our awareness now to our buttocks, to our hips, and just feeling that support beneath us. Allowing the weight of the upper body to settle onto those hips. And feeling the quiet of the gently rounded spine. Let's begin to notice the support beneath the legs and feet. And the quiet of the legs getting heavier, fully supported. And now we begin to tune in to the journey of the breath. And feeling that expansion of the abdomen, the waist, the low back with the inhale. The inward movement with the exhale. No effort, no control of the breath here, just following along. So follow the inhale and watch it turn to exhale. So follow the exhale and turning back to inhale. And feeling the quiet of your body with the gentle movement of the breath.
your mind may wander. That's okay. Find the breath and follow along. Feel the movement expanding abdomen. That soft settling with the exhale. And let's follow along with five or six more breaths. As you complete those breaths, just notice if you want to stay here a little bit longer, you're always welcome to, as long as you're comfortable. Otherwise, we're going to wiggle some fingers and toes, and then press into those hands to help you slowly come upright. You might want to lean into the hands as you slowly release those legs, and even Hop, don't hop, <laughs> gently move off that blanket if you're sitting on one. You can hop if you want to. So let's take a moment to move again before our next pose. And it might be helpful to move your chair slightly off your mat. Uh, so we'll take the feet wide, we'll lean into the hands, we'll rock the knees again just like we did before. And again, you can always skip these movements with just a little preparation for the body, but totally optional. And as the knees fall to the right, we could lean into the right hand. We could sweep that left arm around. And then slowly back. We'll bring the hand back. The knees come to center. Now we're leaning into the left hand, sweeping the right arm around. A little gentle twist here and then slowly back we'll do that once more either side knees falling to the right sweeping that left arm around and then reaching back around and bringing the left hand down knees fall to the left we'll sweep the right arm around And we'll meet back at center. Okay, so we'll move into a supported twist. We do this one a lot. So I'm stacking both pillows like so. Maybe having that blanket to support. Maybe the other one as well. We're going to lean into the blanket so we can bring our legs to the other side. Hopefully the chair legs aren't in the way. And then we're going to bring our hands to either side of the pillow and slowly lower the belly and chest down onto it. So a few things to adjust here. It might be breast tissue. So we might need to adjust. Um, it might be the bottom hip if we need to place a blanket under the bottom hip. It might be too much compression to the abdomen, so you could always push 
the pillows further away, or maybe you want more support under the abdomen, so you bring them a bit closer. Yeah, you'll probably feel like turning to face um, the same direction as your lovely bent knees, noticing they don't need to be perfectly stacked. They're wherever they're comfortable. And actually, I know that I like to have a blanket between my legs here, so that might be something that's helpful. And depending on you know how much pressure you want on the chest, sometimes having this front forearm slightly elevated kind of lets you lean over to the other side. So keep adjusting, keep changing position as you need to. And then closing your eyes. And again, you might find that you still need to seek your comfort. Eventually becoming still. Closing your eyes, breathing through your nose. And feeling the support beneath you. A gentle rhythm of your own breath. And there might be a little compression to the belly and that little bit of twist adding resistance. So know that as you feel the expansion of the inhale, you could move it kind of into your top side waist and into your back. Feeling the expansion there as well as in the abdomen. Now I'd like to pretend that the breath has an invitation for us. And as we follow along with the breath, each inhale seems to be inviting us to expand our awareness throughout our whole body. So with the next inhale, sort of feel your awareness sweeping out to your toe tips, your fingertips, all the way to the crown of your head. And then each exhale is inviting us to soften and surrender to gravity just a little bit more as if you could sort of get heavier on your mat, on your soft support. So following the breath and with the inhale, feel your awareness reaching out in all directions. Find your toe tips, your fingertips, the crown of your head. Each exhale, allowing the whole body to soften and settle. Stay with the invitation of the breath, expanding your awareness. and deepening your surrender to gravity. It's okay if your mind wanders. And come back to the invitation of the breath. Expanding your awareness. Deepening your surrender for a couple minutes more.
follow the breath. Five or six more breaths following along, expanding your awareness, deepening your surrender. If you feel a deep need to stay right where you are, please feel free. And if you are ready to move on, maybe wiggle your fingers or toes. Maybe walk your hands under your shoulders and gently push the ground away. So we'll make our way into this pose on the other side, but if you do want to return to that little bit of movement, you could rock the knees. You could add that twist. Any movement at all here. Great. So moving into this pose on the other side might be as simple as turning to the other side. Um, I'm going to bring the pillows to the other end. So remembering that we are going to lean into these pillows to get these legs over to one side. Bring the hands to either side of the pillows to lower ourselves down. And then we might have different needs here. So you might make a little space for belly or we might adjust breast tissue. And I know that I like to have a forearm resting there and a blanket between the knees, but it's gonna be different for everyone. You might need a blanket over your body as well. So let's lower ourselves down and notice how we feel. And it's okay to have to keep moving to seek your comfort or take as long as you need to make yourself comfortable. And then as you close your eyes, often that's when you notice you need to seek a little bit more comfort. We want to feel fully supported from the ground up. As you begin to settle, you feel the weight of your body resting earthward. And begin to tune in to the natural rhythm of your breath. 
and feeling that expansion with the inhale. That inward movement with the exhale. Even beginning to feel that soft expansion into the top side waist and into the back. Now let's return to that gentle invitation of the breath. With each inhale, feeling your awareness, reach out to your toe tips, your fingertips, the crown of your head and everywhere in between. As you exhale, feel your whole body sinking, getting heavier, softer. Inhale, feel your awareness reaching out in all directions. Exhale, your whole body settling and softening and letting go. Follow the breath. Receive that invitation to expand your awareness. And to deepen your surrender to gravity. If your mind begins to wander, that's okay. Come back to the invitation of the breath. Expanding your awareness throughout your whole body. Exhaling, allowing your whole body to soften and settle. Let's simply pay attention to the next five or six breaths while we expand our awareness and deepen our surrender to gravity.
If you feel a deep need to stay right where you are, please feel free for as long as you are comfortable. If you are ready to move on, perhaps wiggle your fingers or toes. And maybe walk your hands under your shoulders. Gently push the mat away. So we are going to move into one more pose before final relaxation. Um, and this is a supported child pose or a supported prone pose. Um, so some of you have probably done this one with me before. And if so, feel free to set it up just the way you like it. This is what I'm going to suggest. So I'm stacking my pillows like so almost like so. And then I'm going to leave a little space from my head and stack this blanket here, maybe using the other one. So two options. One, from kind of kneeling, bringing the knees to either side of those pillows, you could drop the hips towards the heels and you could lower yourself down here, turning your head to one side. If there's not enough support under your head, you could move those pillows further out. Um, and then at the halfway point, you could turn your head in the opposite direction. For some people, that's a bit of a deep knee bend and not where we want to be. So here's the other option. And this is where this extra blanket comes in handy. So from hands and knees, I'm right on top of this, these pillows. I'm going to lower my belly and chest onto the pillows, bringing my, my face into this middle space. And then I'm going to stack the blankets so I can rest my forehead and feel comfortable. So it might be that you need a second blanket or another fold in your blanket and bringing those arms to either side. Just like before, if it's too much compression of the breast tissue, um, you can always adjust breast tissue or you can bring those uh, pillows a little further down onto your belly and actually let the breasts hang free here as long as you feel enough support. Yeah, so you've got some options here, hopefully. And if one, two pillows is too much, maybe one is just perfect, you could always even send the second pillow down so there's less pressure on the chest. So take your time getting comfortable here. And find a position that's nice for those arms. You could perhaps close your eyes. And continue to make adjustments for your comfort. And if where your feet are, I mean, you might have to move the chair more if they're under the chair. But also, if, if it's uh, uncomfortable for the tops of your feet to lay flat, you could actually roll a little blanket under the tops of your feet as well. And that will provide some ease for the feet. You know, so as you close your eyes and begin to settle in, notice if you are fully comfortable and make some adjustments if you need to. There is quite a bit of compression for the abdomen here, so we are beginning to invite the breath into the low back, into the waist, even those lower side ribs and back ribs. Can you kind of breathe into that area? And so the breath can continue to be soft and deep. And the exhale, soft and slow. So we're tuning into that breath. We're feeling that expansion into the back and into the waist. And maybe even exhaling with a sigh. <sighs> 
feeling your body soften and settle deeply earthward. Inhale, expanding. Exhale, sighing. <sighs> you can do that for the next few breaths. This is helpful. Even an exhale through the mouth. Releasing tension. Sighing it out. Few more. Coming back to that easy in breath, that slower out breath. As we rest here a couple more minutes, perhaps returning to that invitation of the breath. And if you've turned your head to one side, you're welcome to turn your head to the other side. As we inhale, imagine you're Floating your awareness all the way to your toe tips, your fingertips, the crown of your head. And as you exhale, your whole body is softening and settling earthward. Inhale, expanding your awareness in all directions. Exhale, surrendering fully to gravity. Stay with us. If your mind has wandered, that's okay. Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Expanding awareness, deepening surrender. If you feel a deep need to stay right where you are, please feel free to do so for as long as you are comfortable.
If you are ready to move, perhaps wiggle your fingers or toes. Or yawn. And slowly glide those hands under you. You can gently lift up. Yeah, so it is time. Oh, I'm under the chair. It is time for our final pose. And this will be much like the pose that we started with, with our legs up on the chair. Or it could be your legs flat without the chair. Because for some of us, we really like the chair and some folks, meh, could go either way. And so just remembering perhaps what was most comfortable for you in this pose. Or maybe there's a pillow under your head. Maybe there's a pillow under your hips, uh, a blanket under your heels or over your body. And again, to come into this pose, you might bring your legs out in front of that chair. As you lean down, you can get onto that pillow and then roll over onto your back. Great. And notice if you're warm enough, if you'd like hands to the belly or hands out to your sides. And as you close your eyes, making any other adjustments. Your comfort matters most in this practice. So feel free to seek your comfort. And feel your head fully supported. Resting heavy. Your arms, your hands. Supported and heavy. And notice your back supported, your whole torso. Allow it to be heavy and resting earthward. Your legs and feet supported, resting, heavy. You might let the next exhale be a bit of a sigh. In the next few, perhaps. Returning to that natural rhythm of your breath. As we follow the breath, there is indeed an invitation. And this time we will again expand our awareness in all directions with the inhale. But with the exhale, we're going to return to center, wherever that is for you in the body. We inhale, we 
reach out to our toe tips, our fingertips, the crown of our head. With the exhale, we return to center, to the still point within. So as we rest here a few more minutes, let's follow the breath. Let's receive that invitation with each inhale. Reach that awareness out to your very edges. With each exhale, let's return to center, to the still point within. If your mind begins to wander, that's okay. Come back to the invitation of the breath once again. The inhale helping you expand your awareness throughout your whole body. The exhale returning you to center. Five or six more breaths, just like that. If it suits you, bringing a hand to rest to the belly and a hand to rest to the chest. Feeling the weight and warmth of your giving hand. And offering yourself some sweetness here. A kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. in your hands. Feel free to stay here for as long as you wish, for as long as you are comfortable. This is where I will leave you. 
But when you are ready to move, just move nice and slow. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions or concerns, always feel free to let us know at the Everyday Counts program. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.